Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Avila with another pain to power video. This one's about creating. It's about creating yourself. It's about creating anything in the world that's of value, whether it's a work of art or it's a new business uh, or it's bringing another child into the world. It's always against some amount of resistance that that happens. That's why I always tell people don't expect that there won't be an element of pain and effort uh, in the creative process because there is it seems always. And part of the reason for that might be literally neurological. There may be noise in our nervous systems. And so in order to get a pure tone, in order to get the next page of our stories onto metaphorical paper uh, in the best way possible, we have to defeat the background noise in our lives, but also literally in our nervous systems. Uh, and then we can get the story moving in the right direction. Uh, I know when entrepreneurs talk to me about startups, so they're beginning new businesses, uh, it's always a process of trying to get to the nonfiction story, but to get there through some amount of noise, uh, to, it's, it's a pairing away of the falsehoods. And that effort to get to the core story of what's the business going to be and what's the most powerful way to actualize it is an uncomfortable and joyous one at the same time. So I want to tell people who are at the work of not only living their lives, but thinking through their lives and thinking about their lives as they have unfolded in the past, that getting a handle on that, really putting the pen in your hand and doing the best you can to put the best story to paper, it's always going to feel a bit like effort against resistance. Same is true, I'm sure, for the painters uh, in the world who try to get the paint layered just right, the shadowing just perfect. It's always against some amount of resistance because there's always clutter to clear out of the way. Uh, and there's always the possibility of a better image taking form. That's what we need to do with our own lives, too. And you need to do it because... Sometimes I end the videos this way because your story matters. It really does.